Put in the spruce logs, and I believe we should be able to fire this thing. Did I, did I mess something up? Maybe at the pot. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. Okay. That is sick. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Scramble Craft 2 episode. And if you can hear that annoying alarm going off in the background, that's a good thing. That means our prank is still active, baby. Nobody found it over the weekend. And guess what? Cody just logged on the server. So he's going to be so annoyed. If you did not watch last episode, basically we prank Cody. We have a hidden alarm that is going off in his base. And he is going to be screwed, man. Actually, let's quickly see if we can find him. I don't know if he's at his base right now or not. What the heck? All right, that zombie actually looks pretty sick. I didn't know he built this. What is this place? Oh, it looks like he made a mob farm. He didn't automate it into like chests from hoppers and stuff. Interesting. Okay, he's got a mob farm going on. I see you, Cody. I see you. Interesting. Yeah, so he is on the surfer, guys. It's only a matter of time before he goes back to his base and realizes that annoying thing is going off. Man, he is doing, like, a lot of crazy builds over here. I should start some pixel art stuff and make some statues at my base. And you know what? <coughs> we got the schematic cannon to do it. Okay, guys, I've been doing some research on this. And, guys, I'm pretty sure I can make it work. Um, It is going to be difficult. Oh, my gosh, Cody's right there. He's got Mike's giant gun. Oh, he's definitely AFK. Oh, my gosh. Well, uh, let's go head back to my base before Cody sees us next to this giant alarm that's going off. <sighs> He's going to drive himself crazy trying to figure out where that thing is. And it's going to be so funny. I'm assuming once he realizes it, he's going to come screaming into our, uh, our Discord call here. So, yeah, last episode, we got the schematic cannon. Like I was saying, we actually got three of them. I gave one to Mike, but I've done some research, and I'm pretty sure I know how to use it now. It, it, it's a little difficult, but you can download schematics. The problem is there's not really many good ones out, out there for download. So what I want you guys to do, if you know how to do it, go make, your, go make something cool in Minecraft. Send me a schematic on Twitter, and then I will try to add it to uh, ScrambleCraft. If you know how to do it, uh, that would be so cool. You can make a little pixel art structure, and then I can literally shoot your art out of the cannon into my own world. How sick would that be? So that would be, uh, I don't know, it'd be really fun. So you could send me, like, the download on Twitter. But when I was doing the research, I realized I'm going to need some more items. I needed one of these. A schematic table, okay? And it just so happened I... Must have picked up the item at some point or whatever reason I had the schematic table recipe Boom, it was super easy. It was actually just a bunch of birch stairs I had to make that because I wanted the whatever the random recipe was but yes a schematic table That wasn't the only item I needed though. I needed these as well, but these were actually fairly easy to get from using the hopper so that that's the method I used to get these which one is a schematic and quill, which can pull a schematic from anything in this world. I can copy it, turn it into a schematic, and then put it into this table, save it, use the schematic cannon to shoot it out, and then we can have our own whatever we're trying to build. Like, we could go steal Cody's zombie. Actually, that, that's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea at all. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if you use these up every single time, so I actually want to go test out the recipes for them to see if we can make some more um skim oh we don't have the recipes for them maybe you can't make them paper and light blue dye which yeah we could definitely make some of those with the default recipe scroll then so that's not too bad and the schematic quill how do you make that okay schematic and a feather well yeah that's gonna be easy enough 
if we need to get more, we can do that. So basically, the two ways you can get schematics um, is you can download something and put it into your .minecraft schematic folder. And then if you do that, it should appear here. Like this dragonhead.mbt is what you can see. Well, I basically already got one set up to go ahead and try. Um, I downloaded this offline. It was one of the few that I was able to find. And I thought I could make a cool little... It's like a dragon head uh, with its mouth open. And I thought it could be a cool little entrance to a dragon sanctuary for all the baby dragons. Now, I'm not going to have the blocks in order to complete this yet. Because, well, it requires a lot of obsidian. <laughs> so, let's take this... Did it work? Where'd the schematic? Okay, yeah, it did. This is the first time I've ever done this, so I'm learning along with you guys. So now the schematic is basically on this blueprint that I can choose where I want it to go. Since our cannon is right here, I mean, we could probably shoot it over to the side of this mountain or whatever. So let me hit, go ahead and... Okay! So it looks like the schematic didn't copy everything. There were supposed to be eyes and a mouth. And a big tongue coming out. But, I mean, I could add that stuff after. This gives you, like, you know, the idea. This was just kind of a test thing to do. So, that's pretty cool. It lets you preview it. And then if I hold alt. Yeah, okay. So, I can make it go, like, in, in the wall. Oh, that would be nice. If it was somewhere, like, around there. I can, I can picture it now, man. You get rid of all those dirt and gravel blocks. And then... Oh, It'd be the entrance to a dragon sanctuary. I wouldn't put it this close to the farm, but somewhere else. I mean, you guys get the the idea here. And then, I believe... How do I... Okay. Okay, it stays there? This isn't real, right? Oh, did I just glitch the system? No, okay, this is not real. This is just like a hologram. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I got excited. I was like, maybe I don't have to have the obsidian. So now what I'd want to do is... Uh, put the schematic in here and then put in some wait is that where I put it oh yes, 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 yes okay sorry bear with me guys this is my first time doing it all right now I got what I need I needed to grab a minecraft book guys because if we come back over here if we put the book in and the schematic it should go ahead and get us a material checklist boom perfect now, this will tell us exactly what we need in order to replicate the schematic. So, I need 1,471 obsidian. That is insane. I do not have that much, but we do have access to a dupe. I'm not going to do that right now, though. I just wanted to kind of test to make sure everything works. How did you get in there? I lit this thing up, man. I got glowstone in there. I'm going to have to get more torches. Now, it's time to kill the baby creepers. Baby creepers going to die. What we can do right now is actually start off on something a little bit more small scale. So something that we can easily get the, uh, the materials to make. So that's why I have one of these schematic and quills. Like we could literally just copy one of these little houses and then we could just mine up the materials from another house. But that'd be kind of boring. I mean, I really think that's a good idea to try steal Cody's, uh, Cody zombie. We could... <laughs> or we could copy and paste it pretty much. Um, okay, so Cody's at his house. Maybe I should wait until he's off the server and I try to steal his builds. <laughs> oh my gosh, alright, alright. I don't think he saw us. Uh, that was not my smartest move. I knew he was about to log on. Or like about to start his episode and he's clearly not AFK anymore, so... <laughs> he's gonna get so mad when he sees that. You know what, let's come check the hopper, because I did have this running. Configurator! Oh, baby! This is actually super good. If I remember right, this was one of the most important tools for mechanism. It had to do with, like, the piping and stuff. So, I am excited for that. Uh, we definitely want to start breaking out into mechanism as soon as possible. Oh, baby, did we get anything else cool? Uh, bullets from the Doom Weapons mod. If that's an easy recipe, that could be good. We definitely want to get some ranged gun or something soon, so... Ugh, you get so many cool things. It's just a nice way. And I do think Cody nerfed it a little bit because when I was getting these, it was so easy. 
The server shut down, came back up. It was a lot harder. A lot harder to get items from the uh, hopper. You know, which is probably a good thing because I was getting items way too fast. I was just filling up like chest after chest after chest. Speaking of which, there's literally an infusion right there. Thank you. <laughs> How did I not notice that before? That was an infusion. That gave me an extra heart if you don't know what just happened. That's why I love the hoppers. That's why I love them. All right, all right. I got to focus, man. I'm getting so off track. I'm supposed to be building something or copying something. To build. You, let's just do a tree trunk just to test if it even works. This is probably... <laughs> okay. One. I think I... Wait, do I... First position set. Okay. And I don't have any leaves. So we're going to do just literally the trunk of the tree just to test it out. I, I think that worked. So what I'm going to need is gunpowder to make it shoot and then some spruce wood. So I believe I need to come back down here. Take an empty schematic. Place it in. Switch this to tree trunk. Okay, I'm, I'm getting the hang of this. Now we have the schematic. And come pop it out. Choose where I want the tree trunk to go. That looks good enough to me. And enter the schematic cannon. Okay. Uh, we have to take out this schematic. That is the dragon head. Put in the tree. Put in the book. I'm not sure if you have to do that or not, but hey, I'll just do it in anyways. Attach the chest. Put in the spruce logs, and I believe we should be able to fire this thing. Did I, did I mess something up? Out of gun... What do you mean you're out of gunpowder? Do I have to put gunpowder in the chest? Maybe at the pot... Oh, there it goes! There it goes! Okay. Okay. That is sick. Like, you get the picture. Like, that was just a very simple demonstration. But I can do this with all of your guys' builds. I can take the file and I believe, like how big can I make this? Yeah, okay. So you can get really big. So I mean, you could make an entire map that I could download. Actually, it probably, <laughs> probably don't do that because I have to get all the materials. So make it something that I can easily get. And oh my gosh, we'll have some fun with this for sure. Yeah, I can... Oh. <laughs> this is gonna be sick. And can you go super high? I think you can. Yep. Look at that. Oh, this will be amazing. Can copy my entire base right now. Hey, Cody. I uh, hope you're having an alarmingly good day today. <laughs> that was a... You took me on a trip with that one. Uh, yeah, Kraken. I love your little gift. I, it wasn't a gift, Cody. It was a curse. Have it was a curse. It? I found I found it more to be a gift. Did you um? Did you find it already? Yeah. <laughs> it was Please. pretty annoying at the beginning, but then I found it. I was like, you know what? This could be nice. Whoa! I found. <gasps> I found out how to glitch the game. Please tell me you you uh struggled a little bit finding it. So, yeah, I, I give you props too. That was funny. Did you put the creeper in there? No, I didn't put a creeper in there. <laughs> <laughs> there was a creeper there. Yeah, it was actually. Oh, I should have picked that up. All right, Cody. Well, you have fun. I'm going to be just over here schematicking my cannon. You know what? I keep forgetting to do this, okay? April Fool's pet. I can you I've had it in my inventory for the past like 2 weeks, and I wanted to remember to use it as much as possible on Scramblecraft because you can only use it during the month of April, which we're almost halfway through, and I still haven't even used it once. All right, we're going to do it right now. Are we going to get something good or something bad? Hey, we got more rock candy. I actually got this uh, in one of Cody's videos. We were doing a uh, manhunt. <laughs> so if you eat this, you actually take damage. Yeah. Ow, ow. Yeah, probably should have done that. But, hey, I will take the rock candy. Thank you very much, Mr. April Pool's bet. Um, what? You need a tripwire to eat. I don't even think I have any tripwires. 
it, they definitely did nerf it, which is a good thing, guys. I'm not upset about that nerf. Uh, the one nerf that I hope he doesn't do is get rid of my dupe. I like my dupe, okay? Even if sometimes he only dupes slabs. Okay, here we go. Dupe's still active. We got six free ones right there. And then we got 14 more. So, it seems like when it, when it starts working, you get it pretty fast. But I don't need to dupe any slabs. I just wanted to make sure it still works. <laughs> okay. And, oh my gosh! What is this? Okay, novel gadget for placing or exchanging blocks at a distance. Uh, control will give me the controls. So, I think what I do is I put a block down. I can set it to like birch logs and then... Oh my gosh, that is so cool! <laughs> How far away can you do it? Okay, like, change it. Jesus! So you do have to have the item in your inventory. I thought for a second I might get unlimited of a certain block, but wow, this is so cool. <laughs> Let's try hitting one of our chick. My chickens are all gone. I forgot about that. All right, so we got a sheep right here. We're gonna test it on. Come here, little sheep. Okay, so they don't take damage, but <laughs> this thing is still pretty cool nonetheless. It's time we head to the buddy hall, guys. If we're gonna end this video off in style, and what the heck is that giant monster by me? <laughs> Oh, I fought one of these before. I hate them. They had like a million health if I remember right. What the heck is so strong? Dude, this thing's gonna kill me. Really? Oh my gosh. Kyber crystal, right? Or Arachnon crystal. What? Okay, okay. Crisis averted, guys. We are back on the server. Ooh, all I did was look at the Arachnon crystal and then all of a sudden I crashed. Well, let's go ahead and pop open a couple buddy card packs. I'm going to do them both at the same time because it'll be easy. Sorting. It is the crystal. It is the crystal! So I just talked to Cody and he's pretty sure he was uh, the one causing it. I'm going to hover over this crystal just to be sure. Yeah, he was killing some kraken or something and it, you know, that's kind of rude because I'm a kraken. But I don't, I don't know. He was killing a kraken and then he said every time he killed it, the server crashed. I thought it was me for a second. <laughs> Oh, so let's go ahead and do these buddy cards guys if you don't know what these are it is a collectible card game in Minecraft it's been one of my favorite little side projects to do and it's just a buttload of fun so we got 7 21 and 25 for non hollows on the end set there are different series different sets and the first one was seven and then that is going to be a duplicate I believe it was 21, which is new. We'll take that. And then this one was 25, which is also going to be new. That should be right there. Yeah, that's awesome. And then we have two hollow versions. Every non hollow has a hollow. So 16 and 6. Let's go ahead and check these out. Unfortunately, six is not going to do it, but 16 will. It's going to go right there. Beautiful. Okay, I still have to fix the uh, displays because right now it's showing too many because I was mistaken. I thought there was 54 non-hollows and 54 hollows, but it's 27 of each. So I need to change the way I'm laying it out. Now let's go on to the next set. We'll do the BYG, the biomes you'll go. And we'll do the nether set after that. So we only got two BYGs. We got one hollow and one non-hollow. Oh no, they're actually both hollows. I didn't realize that. So seven and 12. Seven is a duplicate, are you kidding me? I don't even barely have any of them. Uh, it's okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now, the higher number they are, the rarer they are. So, I am very happy to get that. That is going to be a nice, rare card. And now we can move on to base set. So, we got base set. And then, I believe the one after that is going to be Farmer's Delight. So, I'll pull those out too. And for base set, we got 11 and 17. So, 11 is going to be new. And 17 is as well. So 15, 16, 17 
That is nice. That set's coming along really good, at least for the non hollow versions. And then we got Farmer's Delight over here. Uh, so we got 3, 13, and 11. 3, 11, 13. 3, 11, and 13. All three of them new to the collection. And here we go. We have the last two sets. You know, overall, we've done pretty well. I, I am pretty happy with this. Two and ten. Um, okay. I got I thought it was a duplicate there for a second, but I was on the wrong section. Okay, two and then ten and twenty-three. All of them were new. And now we have the aquaculture one and two. Wait a minute. This is BYG. Did I not check this? We gotta go check it. That is gonna be very new. Very new indeed. And then we have number one for aquaculture, which is unfortunately is another duplicate. Guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash that like button and comment down below. Hashtag get pranked because we prank Cody. <laughs> and I bet that was so annoying to have to listen to that alarm sound. And then apparently there was a creeper in the little cavern that I actually put the alarm in. So that is pretty sweet. And make sure you guys send me some schematics on Twitter. Twitter is in the description down below. You can follow me there and just tweet me your schematic. And, um, and I will try to pick some to add to ScrambleCraft. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.